Hello everyone, T3 Toxic here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the best NVIDIA control panel settings. So if you wonder why you want to do this, this is going to greatly improve your FPS and your PC performance. This will only work with NVIDIA graphics card, so if you are an AMD user, there should be other videos for you. Okay guys, I just want to say, I'm at 250 subscribers. Last video was at 200. I'm still mind blown. Sorry I haven't posted in more than a week, but I will get back to a weekly schedule, if not a better schedule. I am doing online schooling and that is taking about 8 hours a day of my time, so I don't have a lot of time to create videos. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get this app called GeForce Experience. You can go into the description of my video and click the link next to GeForce Experience. It should take you to a website similar to this. Then just click download now and accept any things it asks you and install it. Once you've installed it, you can just go to your search bar and open it up. When it comes up, make sure it looks like this and run it as administrator. Once it's opened up, you just want to go over to this little place over here saying drivers. Click on that, and as you can see, it should say you have a new driver update available. So I do right now, so I'm just going to click download, but if you want to see what you were previously at, is I was at the one installed on the 10th of March. So as you can see, it's not the best. So I'm going to scroll back up, and I'm going to install this one that came out on the 23rd of March. Just click that download button and it should install your drivers. Okay guys, so once you've installed your new drivers, you can just close out a GeForce experience and open up the video control panel. If you don't know how to open it up, go into your desktop and make sure there's no windows open. I mean, you can have windows open, just click on an empty spot. Right click and click the video control panel. This menu should come up with manage 3D settings. If it doesn't, just navigate your way over here under 3D settings, manage 3D settings. Now you just want to copy down these settings. So the first setting is image sharpening and set it to sharpening off, scaling disabled, ambient occlusion off, this filtering off, NC analyzing, make sure that's off, NC analyzing gamma correction on, NC analyzing mode off and skip these two half transparent pieces of text and go to CUDA GPUs make sure that's all DSR factors make sure that's off so if you are a bit confused you should have one of these ticked just click on the tick because there is no option to say off just click on the tick and it will automatically make it say off and then the next one low latency mode Make sure that is ultra. This can really help out on old devices to get a better FPS boost. Max frame rate, I'm just going to keep mine at off, but you can set it to your refresh rate or one lower or one above. So multi frame sampled, turn that off. Open GL rendering GPU, auto select. Power management mode, make sure this is on preferred maximum performance. Shader cache, on. Texture filtering, on. Texture filtering, allow. Texture filtering, high performance. Texture filtering, on. Threaded optimization, auto. Triple buffering, off. Vertical sync, off. Virtual reality pre-rendered frames, one. Then just click apply and wait for your changes to be applied. You might get a pop-up saying, oh, are you sure you want to go with these settings? Just click OK. Once you guys have done that, just close out of your software and, and now you can just launch your game. You should get better FPS, less latency, less input lag. But depending on how good your computer is, if your computer is on the low end, that low latency setting will help you out a lot. It should even give you an FPS boost alone. I hope I helped you guys out. 
and if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing, as that would really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.